is good you it's your boy Sam back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be doing a squad builder of 1 million MT in NBA 2k24 my team now here's the deal guys some of these players you can get for free a lot of these players are way overpriced but if you're giving me 1 million MT, this is the squad that I personally would build with that MT count. It is kind of sad that, you know, if I were to sell this entire squad, I'd only get 400,000 MT of it. But again, that's the way 2K has built this game. Now, we're going to start off here at the point guard position. So a lot of these, this is my nobody spent. So a lot of these guys, I won't have. And at the point guard position... We're plugging in Jason Kidd. I personally think Jason Kidd's a top five point guard in my team. Decent three ball, can't dunk, good boy, no. But defensively, he is absolutely elite. And his badges are elite as well. I absolutely am a big fan of Jason Kidd. I feel like he gets a bad rep just because his release has been slow. It's been baited. It's been just not very good in the past. This year, the Jason Kidd base on quick honestly is not that bad i never sit up here and say it's you know as good as steph's release or anything like that but it really is not that bad you can get it off in decent time and it is super green as well jason kidd my starting point guard on my 1 million mt squad starting shooting guard we're plugging in a pretty expensive player in amethyst vince carter look when we talk about the top shooting guards in the game it's it's t-mac it's brandon roy it's devin booker it's clay thompson it's all of these lock in players right and, and, and if you want to talk about cards that aren't lock-ins that I, I would advise to get vince carter is one of them 6'6 222 pounds uh 86 three ball 98 driving duck 86 point oh defensively is not great but he's he's good enough and that's why i want to ride jason kidd alongside him right you have vince carter who is a lot of offense and jason kidd who gives you more of that defensive aspect of things i mean both cards are good both cards are absolutely elite but for me I do think Vince Carter does take the cake as a starting shooting guard, a guy I definitely do recommend. Starting small one, small four, this should be no surprise to anybody. Scotty Pippen, 6'8", 210 pounds. Good, decent enough three ball, decent enough driving duck. But look at his defense, 93 perimeter, good speed, great lateral quickness. There's just no flaws in Scotty Pippen. Badge wise, really solid as well. And you can upgrade a lot of his badges or some of his badges, I should say, as well. And even, you know, you give him bronze, catch and shoot, that's going to take him places and definitely help the card out as well. Scotty Pippen was way ahead of his time. I mean, we saw him as a level 40 card last year. And the card was absolutely elite. This year, not the level four card. Really kind of expensive. But, I mean, here's the deal, guys. Scotty Pippen's going to be the best small forward in the game until we get, like, a LeBron James. If we get, like, a Diamond Braun... I think he'll probably surpass Scotty. But as it stands right now, Scotty has a smooth jump shot. He knocks down shots. He plays immaculate defense. He is your best small forward in my team. Starting power forward position, another one of these 140,000 MT cards because look, we got a million to spend. It is Amethyst Anthony Davis. 6'10, 253 pounds, decent three ball, good standing driving dunk. Defensively, though, he is absolutely elite. I'm telling you guys right now, Anthony Davis, your second best overall big man in the game behind Shaquille O'Neal. There's no ands, if or buts about it. He is that good. He is that elite in my team. And if you've used Anthony Davis, you know exactly what I am talking about. I mean, this card green shots because he has a smooth release, plays a lot of defense. Just from top to bottom, it does not get much better than Anthony Davis. I mean, it just doesn't. This card can carry your squad can compete against Shaq. Again, is that stretch big? Can play him at the power forward or center position. He is Anthony Davis making the 1 million MT squad. Coming to the center position of the 1 million squad is Hakeem Olajuwon. I don't love Hakeem, but if you compare him to some of the other cards that you don't have to lock in for, cards absolutely elite. Because when I look at the center position, okay, yes, you got Anthony Davis, who I love. But then you got Shaq. You got Chris Webber. You got Bam. You got uh, Ben Wallace. You got all these cards that you have to lock in MT for. And I'm just not a fan of doing that. And so I'd rather just plug in Hakeem Olajuwon and go to work with him. Again, not going to shoot the ball great. Obviously, defensively, he has, he's fine just because of his play 
fair amount of player build. I just think as far as an overall big in my team, you want guys that can compete against the Shaqs of the world. Hakeem Elijah one can do exactly that. Is the card perfect? No, I'm never going to sit here and try to make that case, but he is really solid option. He's a really solid option for you and your specific squad. So the starting unit looking right around 650,000 MT, certainly not cheap, but our bench unit will ball on a little more of a budget. Now, my bench unit, we're going to be headlined by this man right here. Matthew Delavidova, 6'3", decent three ball, but look at his defense. Good perimeter, decent speed, great lateral quickness, and his badge wise is solid as well for a defensive player. People aren't going to want to hype up Matthew Delavidova, but I will. You want a card that's going to go out there and get you stops and compete on the defensive end of the court, Matthew Delavidova would do exactly that. Just look at his badge count. It's pretty solid. Now, alongside Matthew Delavidova, similar to a guy like Jason Kidd, you're going to want to run a shooting guard that can get you you a bucket and so that's exactly what i'm gonna do as i do plug in dr j dr j doesn't have the best three ball but he can get you a bucket because he can run to the rim he has a smooth release he has good badges he is that small forward that i'm willing to spend up on right because i only spent what 5,000, 7,000 mt on matthew delavidova in hopes that i could get an elite shooting guard like dr j it worked out for me. Dr. J is plugged in right there. Now, here's the deal with Dr. J. Defensively, he's absolutely elite still. 6'7", large frame. And again, his speed, his ladder quickness is off the charts good. I feel like Dr. J and Vince aren't necessarily as talked about as guys like T-Mac, Brandon Roy. And, I, and I'm wondering kind of why that is. But both Dr. J and Vince, for their specific prices, are absolutely elite. And one thing I kind of wish I would have done on my other account is done, you know, bought some of these cards instead of, you know, locking in T-Mac instead of locking in Steph. Because again, that MT, I'll never get back. And at least with these guys, I'd get like 40% back, which I guess is better than nothing. At the back of small forward position, this one might surprise you guys. We're plugging in a card who I don't even know if he makes my nobody spent squad. I need to get him more integrated. That is Sapphire Mike Miller. 6'8", 84, 3 ball. And here's the deal, guys. He's an absolute marksman. He's not going to play a lot of defense. But honestly, at this stage of my team, you can hide him decently, right? Mike Miller's not just going to go out there and be an absolute liability because he is 6'8", has a decent player, amount of player build. You will be able to hide him decently. The big thing for me with Mike Miller is he's going to shoot the light out he puts just extra pressure on the defense where a guy like dr j can get off because mike miller has to again you have to stay attached to the card that's just kind of my opinion on mike miller as i'm diving into this thing he's a card that literally i got for free and he has helped me out nearly more than any other card in my team just with his ability to get me through specific game modes mike miller i always have a special place in my heart for you an absolute marksman at the power forward position, another card that did make my No Money Spent Squad series is Jabari Smith Jr. Now, yes, you can grind this card out for free, or yes, you still can in the summer standouts, and he is absolutely elite. He's a stretch big that can knock down shots with a very good release. So what's the problem with Jabari Smith Jr.? You guys might ask, well, defensively, he's kind of weak, okay? So if you run up against the Shaq, Jabari Smith Jr. doesn't stand a chance. Shaq will dog him on the interior every single possession of the game and so that's the big problem i do see with jabari smith jr is he fine can you run him yes absolutely you can you can use him and have some success with him is he a card that you know is is gonna compete with shaq and ad i don't know that's a little bit of a stretch in my opinion but still for fifty six thousand mt you're gonna kind of have trouble finding better than jabari smith jr at that power forward position and last but certainly not least at the back of center position i absolutely hate plugging this guy in but I feel like I don't even have a choice. I feel like, again, 2K uh, is, is making me do something with it. So I guess I got to do what I got to do. I got to find the guy, though. And, and honestly, it's kind of hard to find some of these guys because he's not even in the cooking set. He's not in the fast break set. He's not in the level up set. He's not in the set. He's, is he in the mirage set? There's the guy I'm looking for, Demarcus Boogie Cousins. 75 3 by 75 driving dunk, decent rebounding stats. The lateral quickness is really, really bad. And my whole thing with DeMarcus Cousins is, yes, he can stretch the court. But again, defensively leaves a lot to be desired. So that's kind of the one thing with DeMarcus Cousins that I would be a little concerned about. When looking at all of these guys on the list, I think DeMarcus Cousins is one of these that I'm just a little iffy on. But when I look at the center position, there's no other guys that I can really plug in and be like, you'll have just as much success with them. I mean, the center position is pretty weak as it stands. So we look at the 10 guys that 
that I am plugging in for my 1 million MT squad, but this is the squad I personally came up with. I'm intrigued to hear your guys' squads, your guys' thoughts on this squad down below in the comments. It is really tough this year to do since there is really no auction house. No, I mean, it's just ran by the player market. Again, I would try to just save your MT for now. It's a lot of shambles there. There's a lot, you know, going on with, with, with the player market. It's kind of in shambles. So for now, I would recommend holding your MT. If you do want to pick up cards, Scotty Pippen, AD are the two that I recommend probably more than anyone else. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. As always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.